Hello, my name is Maria de Souza. I am a Feldenkrais and a yoga teacher. I focus my work on posture, not only because posture makes you look good and helps you to project power and boost your self-confidence, but also because it keeps pain away. Something that you might not realize is that all these or most of the ailments or conditions people suffer with are a result of misalignments and imbalances in the body that we all create as we go about life. And once you start addressing these, that's when you start seeing a shift in your health. Now today I'm bringing to you a exercise for the shoulders. Helps to release tension around this area. It will also help you to reach out um, easier and will give you longer arms. That's the feeling you're gonna have at the very end. So you need a wall, but this is a easy exercise that you can do anywhere in the office, in a hotel room, when you are out and about and need something to release station around the shoulders area. And if you don't have a wall handy, then you can imagine that you're doing this with a wall. So don't stop yourself from doing it because you don't have a wall um, at hand. So um, we're going to face the side of the body to the wall. So um, my left side is facing the wall. So you're gonna bring your, the outer of your left foot against the wall. And the other foot is um, away from the other foot. And keep your feet um, hip this is apart, more or less, wherever it is comfortable. And uh, the rest of the body is not touching the wall, okay? So, from here you're going to bring your arm up. And you're going to, look, you're going to make, draw a circle on the wall. So you're going to look at your hand and you're going to allow the torso and the pelvis to be part of this movement. So you're going to look at your hand as the hand comes down you need to turn the palm around so that you can carry on the circle. And you're going to carry on looking at the hand as the hand makes a circle in the wall, on the wall, okay? and allow the torso, the pelvis to participate in the movement. If you restrict the movement in the torso and the pelvis, you're going to create strain. So you don't to do, to do that, you want to soften the pelvis, soften the torso and the rear basket, so that everything is um, safe, okay? And you're going to do this with the breath, inhaling and exhaling. If you feel any pain because something is going on in your shoulder, um, don't stop yourself from moving. Do a little bit more gently and slower and see how it goes, okay? Inhale, exhale, you look at your hand, you allow the torso, the ribs, the pelvis to move with the movement in the shoulder, okay? And you do a circle. So your palm has to um, move from one side to the other as you make this circle on the wall, okay? And you do this for as long as it feels um, good for you or comfortable, a minute or so, okay? And you go around. Okay, and then you can take a rest, just come away from the wall and feel your shoulders, the length of your arms. And then we're going to do it the other, way, the other way around. So you come back to the wall, the outer edge of the wall face um, touching the wall. And then we're gonna, you're going to go the other way around. Which way did we go? We go this way. Now we're going to go this way. Okay. I'm not sure which way we went. Which way? Maybe we went this way, I think. Okay, we'll go the other way. Sorry, I can't remember which way I went. 
So you go the other way around. Okay, and notice if we doing the other going the other way around feels different. And again, you spend the minutes or so as long as for as long as it is comfortable for you. If you have um, issues going on in your shoulders, so you might want to do less. It's up to you to see how your body feels. Okay. Okay, and then after you did that for as long as you you think it's comfortable, then you can let go and rest for a moment. Notice your shoulders, chest. <sighs> okay, then we're gonna go back there, the same organization, but this time you're gonna keep the, the whole of the side of the body as much as you can against the floor, the pelvis, the shoulder, as much as you can. Okay. Then you're going to <clears throat> do the same movement, but this time because the pelvis is against the floor, you can't pass the hand through. So what you're going to do, you're going to bend the elbow and you're going to come through this gap in the waist. So this gap in the waist, you're going to come through like so. Okay, and again you carry on looking at the hand and you make that circle. But keep the side of the ball, the body touching the wall as much as you can. If this is too challenging, too strenuous for you, um, try um, to do a little bit slower or just don't do it. Just do that the exercise before, okay? until you can feel that uh, you can keep the body against the, the wall. So remember that you need to turn the palm of the hand to come through and then again to carry on the circle, okay? Just that for as long as you feel it is good for your shoulder, okay? And then uh, you're gonna go the other way around, okay? Notice if going the other way around feels different in the shoulder. So remember that the hand has to come through the gap in your waist. Do it slowly with the breath, breathing in and out. And the closer you bring the shoulder towards the, the wall, the more you're going to feel in your shoulder, but the more challenging it's going to be. So just to, um, judge for yourself what you can do without straining. So when you are here and if you bring the shoulder closer to you're looking to, to your to your hand and when you bring the shoulder closer to the wall you're gonna feel a more opening in the chest and the shoulder joint so see how that feels for you it feels great for me it feels nice the opening of the shoulder and the chest but it might not feel so good for you, it might feel a bit strained. So if that is the case, then don't do it. To be kind with your body. Okay, and then after you have done this for a minute or so, or for as long as it is comfortable, you just let go and then just feel your shoulders, the opening of the chest and the length of your arms. You probably feel that one arm is longer than the other, which is very handy when you go and grab something from a top shelf. Um, that's about it, this exercise. Now, of course, you do it on the other shoulder. 
let me know how it goes for you or if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions uh, leave it below and if you liked this exercise give me the thumbs up and share it around with your family and friends thank you so much for watching and i'll see you at a next video bye bye now